Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I'm going to be piecing together this beautiful puzzle by the artist Elena Essex. Uh, this is the 1000 piece Bird Paradise puzzle and as you can see, it's round. Um, it also, of course, features a rainbow gradient that you can see in the birds and flowers that are featured here. Um, so of course, as soon as I saw this, this caught my eye and I knew it had to be part of my collection. So I'm so glad I got my hands on it. Um, so she's a UK artist and her work is some of the most beautiful work out there as far as I'm concerned. It's always very colorful, features like beautiful gradients, um, lots of like animals and birds and insects and lots of like intricate little details. And I just think her work's just really pretty and beautiful and always so eye-catching. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, piecing this one together. Um, so in a sec, we'll unbox it, see what's included. And also I'm curious to see what the pieces are like because it's a round puzzle. I'm assuming that they're gonna be a little different than your sort of standard rectangle or square puzzle. So yeah, let's open this up and have a look. Okay, so before we open it, let's have a quick look at the box. So of course the front's got the beautiful big image on it and just the, her, her name, Elena Essex, and the name Bird Paradise, and a thousand piece puzzle. And each of the sides has the same sort of information. Um, they're all the same, actually. Um, also, the box is like this sort of nice, I don't know what you call it, like UV finish, like low sheen, but feels quite smooth and almost glossy, but not shiny. Um, so yeah, it just feels very nice, fairly sturdy. Um, yeah, I think it would look pretty nice on a shelf, whether you display it this way or sideways. Um, and then on the back, again, we've got a slightly smaller version of the image, a bit of social media and just, oh, and the size, which is got inches and centimeters this time. So centimeters, 67 by five centimeters, like diameter, I guess. And then inches is 26.5. So yeah, and yeah, designed in the UK. So that's pretty cool. So let's open this up. Okay. All right, so included is a oh, cute little sort of like business card with like her logo, which is a beautiful like crane or heron, like a nice bird and her name. And then on the back, it just has like, thank you. Thank you for buying this puzzle. We hope you enjoy it. Please give it a review on Amazon. We would love to hear your thoughts. Visit the Amazon website, etc., etc. And then it even has a little thing, if there's any missing pieces, you can contact them and has social media. So that's a nice little neat bit of information. And then looks like we've got a lovely, yeah, beautiful, nice size reference picture. So yeah, that's, it's not like super big, but it's definitely bigger than the picture on the box. So I think that's like quite a useful, um, convenient size. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, I feel like you could almost, stick that on your wall or frame it too if you wanted like it's quite pretty in itself so yeah and what else we have i think it's just yep oh yep just a regular sort of not not really reusable plastic bag so yeah um there is a bit of puzzle dust in here from what i can see um and they look like just cardboard but yeah let's Let's open this up and have a closer look at the pieces. All right, so these pieces are really pretty. Um, the, the colors are really vibrant. Uh, got some beautiful sort of magentas and like hot pinks and purples and these beautiful like bright coral colors and yellows, all sorts of colors. But yeah, they're really vibrant and I can see like the details are very crisp and clear. Um, so yeah, the printing's really, really nicely done. Um, so yeah, there is a bit of puzzle dust, a fair, I think it's all sort of moved to the bottom now, but yeah, there is puzzle dust in here. Um, yeah, so we'll see if that, how much of a problem that's going to pose. Hopefully it won't be too annoying. Um, and then as for the pieces themselves, they're, they're fairly like, I guess, sort of sturdy and thick, like not really too easy to bend or anything. Um, they're nice sort of, yeah, thick, sturdy card. The back is sort of this, I guess, like gray, light gray card backing. No, uh, no like paper stuck to it or anything. 
And then the front, I guess, is also like a type of sort of paper, like a very low sheen, low gloss, um, smooth paper coating, I guess. Doesn't seem to be too reflective, so that's good. Um, yeah, and so what I've definitely noticed is, and what I expected, we've definitely got some interesting uh, piece shapes. So, and quite a variety of um, sort of sizes and yeah, sort of interesting shapes. Here's like a border one. Um, I don't know if I can find the center one, but oh, here's, here's an interesting one, very curved. Yeah, so a lot of them feature a bit of a curve shape, um, I guess to account for the sort of circle. So I'm guessing like there probably is a center piece, like that might be like a roundish piece with little bits coming off of it. I haven't found it yet. Oh, here's a cute little pie slice piece is what I like to refer to that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't found the centerpiece yet. Don't know if I will. Well, I hope I will eventually. Um, yeah, but as you can see, there's quite a variety of like, some are quite small and then some are larger. Um, I have some fairly large ones too. Yeah. Oh yeah, like this one, it's quite, quite long. Um, so this is sort of more or less what I expected. Um, I've done some round puzzles before, so they're quite similar where they have these sort of curvy, interesting shape pieces. And of course the recent um, rainbow gradient crypt that I did had a quite a few sections of it that like, especially that, that sort of round section in the middle from memory had piece shapes like this and also had a very like a round centered piece. So I'm expecting this to sort of have a similar thing. Um, yeah, so I think that the piece shape is going to be interesting, but I think it'll also make it maybe easier to kind of piece this thing together because not only do you have the sort of, uh, I guess, fairly distinct design, like artwork, and then also the sections that are in like sections of different like color blocks. We've also got these sort of very unique piece shapes. So all of those combined should make for a fairly reasonable level of like ease to put together. Um, yeah, so in a sec we will have, I'll start sort of sorting and talking about how I'm gonna approach putting this together. All right, so I am ready to start sorting and even getting into puzzling and I've got here my lovely big reference poster so I can see the details clearly. Um, and you may notice I don't actually have a puzzle board and that's just um, from my experience doing some round puzzles before, they just don't fit on the board. There's like some overhang. So I think that will probably be the same issue with this one, um, but that's fine. I'm happy to just puzzle straight onto the table. I think the colors should be easy enough to see. Um, yeah, so as for like how I'm gonna go about doing this, um, I think that I'm gonna actually start with this sort of yellowy section and maybe then the orange and this coral. Um, just because I the yellow stands out to me, so I feel like that's probably some of the easiest pieces to pick out to start with. Um, I'm not gonna like I'm not planning to pull out the whole all the border pieces, but I will as I pull out yellow and each color section. I'll pull the border pieces of those out with it and just sort of do the border as I do that section, I think. Um, I think that's just how I'll, I'll approach it for now. I mean, I can always change my approach later if it doesn't work. Um, I'm not sure if the yellow, how far into the center I'm gonna go, but that's okay. I can always move to the center later. So it might just be more like this outer ring. I'm not, we'll just see what happens, what pieces I end up pulling out, I guess. And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue all the way around or if I'm just going to sort of do some of this section and then maybe move to like blues. It just sort of depends how I feel, I guess. If I get sick of staring at coral and orange, maybe I'll move to a cooler color um, or maybe I'll keep going at the pinks. I'm not really sure. I'll just sort of see how it goes, I guess. So I'm going to start pulling out yellow, which is pretty easy to see, nice and bright. And then, oh yep, yeah, and then this is sort of like a yellowy orange, which is like literally, I think they're little oranges, orange fruits. Um, so yeah. Oh, yeah, and even here, like we've got some border pieces already, which is fine. So I'll just do those as I do the sections. 
Um, I'm kind of hoping that, like I said earlier, that, uh, you know, both obviously the design, like the illustration, and also the, the fact that we have a colored gradient in a circle. And that combined with um, like these sort of more unique piece shapes will kind of help this puzzle go together more easily, I'm hoping. That's my sort of theory anyway. I think it should make it easier. Like I don't see why it wouldn't. I sort of found that with like the, um, the crypt uh, sort of like pastel rainbow gradient that the piece shapes really, really made it much easier and like really helped it go together more smoothly. So yeah, I'm guessing that might be the case here. So yeah, um, anyway, I'm gonna keep on sorting and pulling out as many of these yellowy sort of oranges as I can and start putting them together and um, yeah I guess I'll come back at some point like maybe after I've done these sections and we can have a chat about how it's going so far and how I'm finding it and what the piece fits like and all that so yeah I'm gonna sort and get into some puzzling. So it's been a couple days since I last worked on this puzzle and uh, well jokes on me because it's definitely not as simple and easy and quick as I thought it was going to be. This actually, this section which I'd say is about a third of the puzzle took quite a while to do. Um, I like partly because there's this huge kind of corally orangey pinky red section which just took ages especially all these little flowers like it was really hard to sort of figure out where they went. Um, and it does turn out that the teal background does gradiate, so it's lighter in the middle and darker. So that helped a bit, but yeah, there's just so many little like feathery bits and things close together that that section was like really time consuming. And even seriously, just all of it just took longer than I thought. Um, I, th I really thought that like the sort of more unique piece shapes were gonna assist me, but in some ways they ended up hindering me like it, I feel like sometimes when I do puzzles with irregular piece shapes, it's easy for me and I get in a rhythm and other times it sort of just confuses my brain and my brain just can't seem to, I can't seem to wrap my head around where and how pieces fit together. And that's sort of how I found doing this so far. Um, yeah, like sometimes I just look at a piece and I just couldn't, couldn't figure out what sort of piece would fit in that space or, or where that piece would go, that sort of thing. And even within um, something else that's a bit tricky I've noticed is there seems to be some pieces which look like edge pieces because they've got a flat edge but they're like a false edge so like this one like it's quite a few in here and so I had them separated out thinking that they're going to be this along this edge but it turns out they weren't like here and I'm sure there's like I found quite a few I'm sure oh, there's another one yeah so 
Oh, and there. So there's yeah, quite a few sort of yeah false edges, which really like tripped me up a bit as well. Um, yeah, so definitely didn't get as much done as I was hoping. So I'm about to sort of um, go for round two, and I don't know how far I'm going to get with this tonight. But um, my plan is to now. Where am I up to? Okay, like coming out of this sort of coral color. There's more pinky purplies here, so that's quite a different pink and quite like a bright purple, like royal purple there. So I'm hoping that stands out enough that I can find those in the box. And the same with the flowers, there aren't too many in that sort of color variety. And then instead of going further into these purples straight away, I might also just do this small green section because I feel like I've sort of started on this and even some of these yellow flowers here were actually not with these yellows, but were kind of in the green section, oddly. Um, but yeah, I feel like maybe those two smaller, more distinct sections might be the best way to go now. Um, so I might start pulling out pieces for that. And I'm kind of guessing that like the coral, this sort of tealy blue section here is just probably going to be time consuming. Um, there's a lot of very similar colors in there and a lot of these tiny little teal blue flowers so I think it's going to be quite challenging um, yeah and also in this tray here I've got a few bits and pieces that I pulled out that sort of go up the top here um, but haven't quite figured out where yet so uh, yeah so I guess I'll be placing those as time goes on um, well let's see like yeah so these pink bits should be like seem to be pretty easy to find um, they seem to stand out pretty easily. It's a nice color. It's sort of this like pinky magenta. I quite like that. Probably one of my favorite colors in here so far. Um, yeah, so definitely I'll keep pulling those out. And then, yeah, also there's these sort of like more brighter greens. So before they sort of turn into teal. Um, so I've got a few in my little tray here as well, which I'll pull out too in a minute. But yeah, I think that's sort of my plan for now. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll sort of see how far I go. Like, I mean, if I get those bits done pretty quickly, I might start moving into more like further around on each side. So maybe more purples and maybe starting to get into the teals. Just see how I go, I guess. Um, yeah. So I guess uh, wish me luck again. And hopefully these next couple of bits don't take as long as this first bit. I'd really like to get more of this puzzle done tonight than I did the last time I puzzled. Um, so yeah, I'm yeah. gonna do some more puzzling now and I'll see you in a bit.
So I am back and I have finished this gorgeous puzzle. Um, that last lot of puzzling was a lot quicker than I expected and I, as you can see, even finished the puzzle, which I wasn't exactly expecting. I was thinking like, based on the amount of time it took me last time that I may not finish it tonight and I might have to have a round three of puzzling, but no, I got there. Um, it actually only took just a bit longer um, than this original section yet I got like twice, almost twice as much done. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, all up, I think it took this session and the last session of puzzling like around five hours in total, which I think that's like pretty good. Um, you know, like I've definitely spent less time and more time than that doing 1000 piece puzzles. So yeah, I don't know, like if it means uh, all that much, it just depends on the level of detail and how difficult a puzzle is, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, so I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I think it just looks spectacular. It's so pretty. I love like looking at all the different sections, like each, like it's so much fun to like just spin it around and like admire all the different, like each sort of colored section. Um, and I love how like the design just is continuous and just weaves into the next section and the next section. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, yeah, I just love how it turned out and this is definitely one that's staying in my favorites part of my collection for like ever <laughs> along with all her other puzzles because I'm just a big fan of her artwork. Um, so like as for the puzzling experience, I think overall um, it was fairly positive. I mean this second time was like way more I guess enjoyable than last time. Last time I found like this sort of yellowy orangey peachy section just really quite tiring and just like it took me a long time and I was struggling with it and I don't know if that's because maybe I was a bit tired or feeling a bit under pressure to get it done I, I don't know but like I found myself sort of like getting a bit confused and tricked by all the irregular shapes um, whereas this time like that wasn't a problem like this time I did it with ease maybe because I'd had the practice from last time and I was maybe less tired and more relaxed. Who knows? Like, I think a lot of things can really affect your puzzling experience, like your mood and <laughs> tiredness level, I guess. And yeah, and just how familiar, familiar you are with the puzzle by the time you, you're doing a section. So yeah, I think n like doing this second like sort of section, um, yeah, I, I knew what to expect in terms of like how things went together and, um, yeah, just was more familiar with the image and that sort of thing. Um, some things that, like one thing I didn't like so much about the puzzling experience was actually the piece fit. So it doesn't look super loose, like it actually fits, looks like it fits together really well. And I guess it does, but then that being said, like, you know, <laughs> pieces don't stay together very well. So yeah, so no puzzle pickup today, um, but that meant like, so yeah, see like I can barely even pick up a single piece without it falling apart. So that kind of bothers me a bit because like obviously that makes uh, moving sections kind of impossible. So I had to like, you know, really keep in, that in mind, especially if I was working on like, you know, a particular bird or something in this or like particular section, I had to like make sure that, um, you know, if I was working on it in one area and then had to move it to another area to like either be able to slide it easily to that area or keep it close to where it was going to go. <laughs> so I like had to be a bit more conscious of that. Um, otherwise it was just a bit of a pain to try and then relocate all those pieces. So yeah, I'd say like that was really my only major issue. Um, and I think I mentioned there was puzzle dust when I like emptied the pieces out in the box, but Honestly, like there was a bit of puzzle dust left in the box, but when putting it together, there was like nothing. Like, I mean, maybe I can't see it as well on this table instead of my white puzzling board, but I just didn't really notice any puzzle dust on the pieces or anything. And I wasn't sneezing. So yeah, it just ended up being a non-issue really. So that's good. And um, yeah, I mean, apart from that, like it was like very low glare. Um, didn't, yeah, didn't have any problems seeing the pieces and the colors. Um, yeah, love how it looks, um, feels nice, nice and smooth. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think like maybe the only other thing is obviously, yeah, the piece shape, it can be a pro and a con 
like just depending on your puzzling style and if you can wrap your head around how pieces fit together and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, but that, I mean, as you saw, I had both a good and a less good experience with that, but it wasn't like a, you know, definitely doesn't put me off from doing this puzzle again and it's not a deal breaker or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I guess like, would I recommend this puzzle? Like, absolutely. I really, like, as you can see, it just looks stunning and yeah, I just love how it's turned out. And I think it's just a, like, I think if you do this when you're not tired or stressed, it can be a really enjoyable puzzle. Um, yeah, like tonight's session, I just really had a great time and it just is beautiful. And I think it's the sort of puzzle like it's, you know, you can do it by yourself or you could actually do it with other people, friends or family because because it's round, you know, you can have people sitting different sides doing different sections and they're not getting in each other's way. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I like that sort of aspect of a round puzzle. It's like a bit more fun. Um, yeah, and um, I guess as well, like this is sort of like, I guess it's suitable for like lots of different puzzling levels. Like, you know, I guess kids could do this with like maybe, well, they could potentially do it on their own depending like their, um, like I guess age or whatever, um, or, you know, fun to do it with their parents or a friend or something. But yeah, I think whether you're like a beginner puzzler or like a more expert puzzle level, you know, you could you could definitely do this. It's definitely doable. Just, you know, if you're a beginner, it might be a little more tricky, might take a little longer, but I think you could definitely get there in the end and have a really like enjoyable time. And then even like, I don't know, you know, I guess I consider myself more intermediate level puzzling or like experienced in that I've done a lot of puzzles, not not the fastest or the best or anything like, anything like that, but even for someone who's done heaps of puzzles, like this is still like challenging and tricky, but still satisfying and enjoyable. So yeah, I think it's like pretty cool. And yeah, I guess the last thing to say really is that um, it's just a really cool take on a rainbow gradient. So it's just, yeah, it's not like your average regular standard gradient. You know, you've just got this these beautiful, birds and flowers and and insects and then you know the gradient traveling through it so yeah looks really cool super fun um so i think i've rambled enough <laughs> um so i guess in the comments below let me know what did you think of this puzzle you know like do you like it is it your sort of style um, both in terms of like being around gradient puzzle and i guess the art style um, have you done this one before or have you done any of um, elena Essex's other puzzles um, yeah so I guess let me know your thoughts and experience down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles and also you can check me out um, on Instagram at jigsaw underscore juby thanks so much and see you next time bye